Hello everybody, my name is Adrian Iliasiu and I'm an engineer on the DevNet team with uh, Cisco. Thank you so much for your interest and for joining me on this course, getting started with Cisco SD-WAN REST APIs. Throughout the course, I will be joined by my colleague uh, Vinay Prabhu from the Cisco SD-WAN team and he will go over uh, the evolution of the WAN circuits of the past to what we are today, the SD-WAN technologies and also how all the components of the solution fit together, how the V-Edges communicate with the vSmart, with uh, vBond and vManage, and how everything comes together as one solution. But before we go further, uh, I just want to give you a bit of introduction of about myself. Uh, so I've been an engineer with the DevNet team now for four years, almost four years, and what I do, my main role is to build infrastructure for Cisco Live events. Um, so if you've ever been to a Cisco Live event in the past four years and you've been in the DevNet zone, the infrastructure that's running the DevNet zone, uh, pretty much I've built it with the, with the team that we have uh, in DevNet. I also write content. I also do video presentations for our DevNet community. And I do hope that you find this uh, useful and um, you take it and start developing your own applications with this. So having said that, let's move to the course overview. The audience for this course are all network engineers, network administrators, and architects that want to improve their skills to see how the SDM fabric works and how they can start interacting programmatically with the fabric and start developing or taking advantage of the REST API that the SDM solution provides. Also, software developers, um, We've developed this course with software developers, developers in mind, and we hope that they can also see the advantages of the infrastructure, and now with the programmatic interface to the SD-WAN fabric, they can actually start developing integrations and applications on top of this and extend the platform. The main goal of our course is to introduce everybody to the Cisco SD-WAN REST APIs, to show you um, where you can find documentation, how you can start interacting with it, how to develop applications and start integrating this with third party tools. What's in scope for this course? We want to explore the REST API. We want you to be comfortable with developing applications using the API by the end of this course. And You'll also be able to build your own Python scripts, and if you want to follow along, we'll go through a Python application that we developed that will attach and detach configuration templates from specific devices. So we'll take you from zero to developing your own applications by the end of this course. And then also, we would like to show you the Cisco SD-WAN sandbox and the sandboxes that we have readily available for you 24-7, 365 all throughout the year. Free cost, all you have to be is a DevNet member to have access to them. Out of scope for this course, we're not gonna go into detailed product explanations, so there are additional courses for this for you. Uh, several other courses that cover this into uh, great detail of what the components are and they're more geared towards teaching you on how the product works. For this specific course, we want you to, be, to become familiar with the Cisco REST API and start developing uh, and start using it to integrate with, with third-party solutions. We also are not going to cover advanced API topics in this. This is a getting started course. Uh, so we're not going to go into uh, advanced policy configurations or automatic control plane bring up or, or any of that. The requirements for the course. You just have to have like basic Python programming, scripting knowledge, um, and a bit of Cisco SD-WAN uh, knowledge. But if you don't have this, don't worry, we'll, we'll start pretty much from zero. So the expectations are not that you, are, you know anything at this point. So we'll take it from pretty much from zero. Okay, so that's the course overview. In this part of the course, I also want to mention the sandbox that we will use. So the DevNet sandbox, if you're not familiar with it, is an environment created specifically for our DevNet community to be able to take advantage 
of test environments, environments that they can start interacting with right away. The link for it is right here, tennisandbox.cisco.com. For this specific course, we've set up a sandbox called Cisco SD1. And actually, let me go and show you in the browser. So if I open my browser, I'm logged in here with my account on the sandbox.cisco.com. And once you log in, this is the page that you get access to. You can see that we have 66 sandboxes at this point, And we keep adding more and more pretty much on a weekly basis. So keep an eye on this. There's anything from ACI and Kubernetes sandboxes to ACI simulators to CI CD pipelines to blockchain. So it's not only Cisco technologies. Is Cisco, third party, whatever technologies we think are interesting for, for our community. So Cisco Container Platform, uh, really collaboration, sandboxes, um, DNA Center, security sandboxes, uh, Kinetic, IoT, and a large number of sandboxes. But for our course today, I actually want to go into the Cisco SD-WAN. So we click on it, and it opens up this window in which we get an overview of the, sand, of the solution, what the Cisco SD-WAN solution is, uh, the developer sandbox, what it consists of, and what you can use it for and also how you can access it. So the link and then the credentials are also right there. This is an always on sandbox, so it's available 24-7. Uh, this specific user that we have set up here is with limited privileges because it can be used by anybody at any point. We don't want by mistake somebody with administrative privileges to destroy the sandbox and we'll have to rebuild it. So it's a limited permission user but it has enough permissions for you to be able to get started and go through all the steps that we're going to go through today in this course. So going over the architecture a bit, we see here we have a CA server, a certificate authority server. We have a vSmart, a vManage, and then a vBond. All of them are connected to four V edges, which are representing our branches or our remote sites. So they're all connected through VPN0, which is the transport network. And we also simulate some clients at each branch with VPN1 and loopback interfaces um, in that VPN. That's pretty much all I will have to say uh, at this point. Um, this is the sandbox we're going to use. And uh, next, we're going to go into what Cisco SD-WAN is and how it evolved over the years. And my colleague Vinay, like I said, will cover this in more detail in the next course. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you find this course very informative. Thank you.